everybody it's Nikki and I'm here to do another video that is personal experience not to be not to be used as medical advice and definitely some personal uh, opinion um, I am here today to share tip number one of five tips that I've received from Medtronic I actually did these videos yesterday my house was quiet my kids were asleep I had showered I did all five videos I thought they were fantastic <laughs> Um, I just belted them out. My mom watched the first one today and said, you talk too much, get to the point. <laughs> so I told her I will redo the first video. I will not take another shower for it. <laughs> uh, that's for real. And so here I am. And I'm redoing tip number one, which is for exercise tips. And I will tell you very quickly, so you know where this information is coming from, that I have been in touch with a Medtronic trainer, a very nice woman. Um, she is not my trainer. She's not the one who I received you know, during training. Uh, it's just somebody who I've kind of come across and we are in contact through Messenger um, and she is providing to me some tips that have been provided recently I, over the last week or two um, to trainers in response to some common problems that people are running into with the 670 and specifically with auto. Um, basically she said I will give you some stuff and um, you can share it and so that's what I'm doing what I have told her is I'm happy to share it and I'm hoping that it will be able to help some people I am NOT willing to share blindly things that I don't I didn't experience or I don't believe to be true in my case so there will be commentary um, with all that being said I'll get to the point and this is tip number one exercise tips uh, so I'm reading this uh, that's what I'm looking at okay we have learned many smart guard auto mode lessons along the way, uh, particularly in relation to recommended exercise protocols. We must always keep in mind that every patient is unique and every different type of activity can affect their glucose differently. So each patient will still need to adjust according to what works for them, but here is a place for them to start and some considerations. Okay, so their first one is the use of the temp target, that is temporarily increasing the auto basal target to 150 for up to 12 hours, is suggested for exercise. The general recommendation is to start the temp target one to two hours before exercise begins and set the duration so that it stops uh, or returns to the normal auto basal target of 120 one to two hours after the exercise has concluded. Um, in my experience, I exercise every day in auto mode for two months, three months, maybe longer, two, let's say two or three months. Um, I tried it without the temp target at first, and then I tried it with the temp, or maybe I tried it with temp target first. My problem was um, I did not start at two hours prior to starting. Um, I did do 30 minutes to an hour prior to starting, and that is because that's how I do my temp basal and manual mode. Um, what I found for me is that that start wasn't enough to prevent the minimum delivery that occurred during the exercise and usually afterwards. Uh, so basically what I would get is kind of a slow decrease in insulin right before a big window of no insulin and that set me up for big rebounds following the, the session. Um, it took me a, a long time to figure out what was actually happening. And once I realized that, I, I canceled out temp target altogether because for me, I didn't try it two hours before, um, but for me, it just wasn't doing anything. Um, and then ultimately, I got out of auto mode altogether and just started, went back to manual mode. But I will say, exercising in manual mode, it's harder, it's harder on me with hypoglycemia than it was in auto mode. It was just that post-exercise that got me in auto mode. Um, Okay, the other thing that they say is the temp target may need to be extended if exercise was extensive, possibly into the overnight period. In addition, patients may need to consume carbs during aerobic activity that is long or intense. Um, I would have never had to have extended anything after auto mode, after an auto mode session because that minimum delivery was taking care of me as it was and usually I had to start battling some highs. Um, and as far as consuming carbs during aerobic activity, if that's what you do in manual mode and you usually have to take in four glucose tablets or a banana or you know whatever it is that you do, the only thing I would say is if you're not keeping an eye on that minimum delivery, that sometimes is over treatment and that can really set up you know a big, a big rebound. Um, so that one I did, but I had to learn how to really kind of downgrade how many carbs I was taking in during the exercise and to really figure that in along with that, you know, two hours or two and a half hours of no insulin. 
Okay, then they go on to say, if the patient is using the temp target as discussed and lows are still occurring, you should reassess if the patient has been consuming uncovered carbs prior to exercise, which may have been their usual habit. Unlike with standard insulin pump therapy, uncovered carbs before exercise may increase the autobasal due to the, uh, due to the resulting glycemic rise and therefore contribute to lows. Um, that is very reasonable and that's entirely possible. What I would say in, in auto mode in general is that a lot of it is counterintuitive um, and the things that you did going into it, you better be kind of prepared to shake because they might not do, they might not have the same, they might not play out the same way as they did in your normal diabetic life. Um, <clears throat> so in that case, Yes, normally you, I would have 15 grams of carbs, 20 grams of car carbs prior to starting exercise, but I believe what they're saying is that if you do that in auto mode, what you might be doing is triggering more insulin, um, which might therefore push your numbers down, and that's entirely possible. Um, I don't think I had a whole lot of uncovered carbs in auto mode ever, but it's entirely possible, you know, old habits die hard, so maybe I was doing that. Uh, last thing they say is you also, you also may need to advise your patient to consider suspending for at least part of the exercise time to prevent lows. Again, my suspend was, auto mode was all over my suspends, so I didn't need to add in any extra suspending. That's it. Uh, comment if you'd like to comment. Um, don't if you'd not like to comment. <laughs> so, Whatever you do, I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye.